I'm Matt Rudd. I'm a strawberry and produce farmer here in Guilford County and we're working as hard as ever to get our produce planted for this season and our strawberries are already looking great. Looks like we're going to have a great crop. I've been farming for about 50 years and this is our 20th year in strawberries. And before the season looking at the crop, we probably had one of the best strawberry crops we were going to ever have. And then, beginning of the year our strawberry crop looked so good and we were so hopeful that we were going to have a wonderful crop this year and I think we did. So with our drive-through system we didn't know what to expect and how many people would come out or people would come out with everything with the pandemic going on but so we tried it and we the first day was in the middle of April and it was unbelievable we just had tons of turnout more people than we could even hope to sell strawberries to it was overwhelming and it was just it was First day of the drive-through, it was, I don't know how many people tried to come out that day, but it, it was so many people that they couldn't even get off the road and get to the farm that was blocking up traffic for miles around the farm. And we even heard some stories of it backing up traffic on the highway. Um, but we were just, you know, trying to do the best we could. We had strawberries we needed to sell and we were getting people off the road and trying to get them in and out as quick as we could. And we were doing a pretty good job. It just wasn't fast enough for the amount of people coming out. So we had our crew of guys picking and you know we have we have to pick every day basically to keep up with the many strawberries we have so there's they're picking as hard as they can every day and one day we we were opened up and we were selling and we thought we had lots of strawberries and turns out we sold them so fast that uh, we had to call the guys that were at our other farm and they needed to come up here to high cone farm to uh, pick more strawberries so they started up the road and the problem was the traffic issue. They, they couldn't get here for the traffic. So uh, they got to about the bridge, which is about a third of a mile away. And I told them, I said, guys, just, just get out of your car. Somebody keep driving, but the rest of you guys get out and y'all walk up the road up here and run up to the farm. And sure enough, they ran up the road and came to the farm and uh, we sent them by washing their hands and boom, they started picking. And then the other guy finally got here like 30, 45 minutes later after a customer let him in to traffic so he could get here to work. <laughs> Despite the changes we had to make to how we ran the business and the traffic issues we had in the first week, um, we were still just starting strawberry season with a rush of adrenaline. Maybe it was because the world as we knew it had kind of stopped and people were just looking for something to do out of the house. But regardless of the reason, we were just really grateful for the customer turnout we had and the support for our family business. We're gonna have a great picking today and tomorrow and should have a good supply of berries come Saturday. I love walking through a field right before they pick because it's just so pretty to see all of the ripe berries and there's some pretty big ones in this field. The red just keeps um, go 2020 has been a year of change and adaptation for all of us. It hasn't been easy on anyone. I think change can be extra hard for farmers sometimes. They can be kind of ingrained in their ways and often for good reason but I really saw Matt and Ken and Joan and Kenneth push through some hard decisions that they had to make in regards to changing the way that they had ever run their strawberry business for the first time in 20 years it was going to look very different and they had to do that to um, protect their family and their employees and their customers in pandemic times so they really pushed through those changes so that they could keep farming First week went great, and then just like flipping a switch, we were 
staring the pandemic straight in the face with even with all our precautions we were taking with our workers and everything we we had a we had a worker come up with a fever and the 2020 season was just getting started